Continentex 211. Educating the youths through films. How many sugar mummies do you have? Uh, 172, that is, uh... Jesu! Stand away, you did. Around 200 and something, yeah. Hi! <laughs> Silly boy! Oh, <laughs> See, if you look for a person where you go fire, turn that this one. Immediately. <laughs> Hi there, welcome back to another comic interview. We're going to want to hear about having a sassonist artist known as Ali Joma. If this is your first time watching on this YouTube channel, make sure you check the previous videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment and share to your friends. Good evening bro, before we start make sure your phone camera is very stable. Thank you, say hi to Junubin. Salam, salam alaikum Junubin. Uh, <coughs> uh, I greet you all. Lul Simon is an artist that is rising up with a lot of energy. Do you have any collaboration with them? A collaboration with Lul Simon. Yeah, in fact, I wanted to do a collab with him. When was it? That's uh, last year. Bro, you look very skinny these days. What's up? <laughs> no, man, I don't look skinny. I'm so big now, man. Let me tell you, yeah? Go ahead. Let me first lie. I'm 80 kgs. What if you are not lying? And if I'm not lying, then I'm 65. I will arrange for you to be taken to a feeding center so that you will grow and become 100 kgs like me. Thank you so much. How many sugar mummies do you have? Uh, 172. Around 200 and something, yeah. Damn, that's too much. How do you attract them? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What is your own branding slogan? Very good, bad boy. Yeah. Do you plan to have a musical tour after this pandemic and where will you start it? I will start that with uh, Rumbek. I will be going to Rumbek very soon. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, from Rumbek, maybe I can go to a wheel. A wheel to Wow. Wow, uh, I think I'll come back to Juba and go to Ren, to Malut, and to Bor. <laughs> yeah. So I will be doing a bit too soon. When will you visit Australia? Man, I don't know. I don't want to even talk about this. Because uh, it's crazy. Uh, I tried so many times and you know, I think... Uh, let me just wait for the right time. And I'll come through for Australia. Out of those sugar mummies of yours, as a brother, give me only three. No. <laughs> Have you ever been to Egypt? Oh, Egypt, Egypt, you know, I was there last year, you know. Oh, wow, the support there. Do you plan to go there once more? I'll come there. When? Hopefully next year. You said before that you have tried so many times to go to United States, Australia and Canada, but none of them succeeded. Some of your sugar mummies might be watching right now. What do you tell them regarding your visit to any of those countries? So, if I fail to come here, one of you should just come with a handbag, a big one, put me in there, maybe smuggle me to uh, Australia, well, uh, America, well, uh, Canada, anywhere. When sugar mom is with a diamond, I can't get a pinky challenge to my level. Bro, success. <laughs> Internetex 211 Educating the youths through films Have I ever interviewed you? This is my first I gotta see this man For what? Why? <laughs> Bye Hi what's up? Welcome back to another comic interview with Donald Trump One today we are having the president of South Sudan Basketball Federation That is Sir Noel Day I know you know him But first before we move on with the interview If you are new on this YouTube channel Make sure you hit that subscribe button like the video, comment and share it with your friends. You can also follow us on our Facebook page that is displayed on the screen for more of comic vibes. Good afternoon sir, it's my pleasure to have you today. Say hi to our Jinobin. Hey guys, this is Lower Deng. 
Have I ever interviewed you? This is my first. What were your plans after retirement from basketball? When I retired, uh, I really was just going through my mind that I was going to take a couple years off. And then out of nowhere, you know, I heard that South Sudan was having an election uh, for the Federation. When you first heard it, what was the first thing that came to your mind? And the first thing I said, you know, I just retired. Uh, but, you know, a couple of players reached out to me. Wow, what did they say? They said, you should do it. You know, we want to be a part of it. So I put my name into the election um, and I was elected. Currently, how do you feel being the president of the federation? You know, I'm happy that I did it. Do you face any challenge or it was kind of easy? It hasn't been easy, uh, but I'm just, I'm happy that, you know, this is what I'm involved in. Now, comparing our team with other African teams, how do you see our own? We have a very, very young team. Uh, it's a very young team that... We've been doing a lot of teaching. We South Sudanese know that there are two more games to play. How is the preparation? They had four practices right now, uh, but I'm very confident in the young guys, and this is experience to them, you know. So we're looking at it. We're going to compete, um, and they're going to learn a lot, but they're really excited to be a part of it. Looking at you as a senior and someone who has been in the game for quite a long time, how's your relationship with them? I'm, I'm not too far from them, and I was just in the locker room last year. Uh, so I we joke, you know. I'm I'm just me. We joke and we're friends. And then when we get on the court, it's like you know I'm screaming and I'm telling them they're doing it wrong and everything. But the respect is there, you know. They look at it as you know learning, but also somebody who's been there who knows you know what it takes to get there. You said before our South Sudanese team is too young compared to other countries' team. Uh, do you see our own making it to the top? I know I have a young team, but we can't make excuses. Uh, I, we're really going to compete. I don't think it's going to be easy for any team. Um, I think these guys are ready and they're going to play hard. So our mindset is just, you know, go at every game and try to win. Um, and then we live with the results. When I was growing up, I always wanted to be a basketball star like you. I hope it is not too late. Yeah. I'm Thank you. <laughs>
nothing will happen to them if I go. Someone somewhere said the recently signed peace agreement will never end well. What do you think about that? What proofs do, does that person have? It helps to end well. There are so many other countries where you know people were dying in mess. But that thing stopped at the end. They are now busy. Have you ever called other political leaders and discussed exactly what is wrong within the leadership? I told that to him, what, what is wrong with us? So what did he say? He did not answer. Me. But do you think the problem is within, I mean, the top leadership? I don't, I cannot answer, I can answer for myself. For me, there is, I feel that there is nothing wrong with me. Your Excellency, now the peace has been signed and things are returning to normal. Have you forgiven those who wronged you in one way or the other? I have forgiven them all. Being the leader of this country, I have forgiven all those who took arms against me. And those who have been who have been insulting me in the media, writing all the rubbish, I have forgiven them. Tribal conflicts happen in South Sudan between Nuer and Dinka. What exactly is the problem here? The Dinka and, uh, and the Nuer, as tribes, have no problem. So where's the problem? The problem is with the people who want power. These are the people who go and mobilize the innocent people in the countryside beating the drums that you know they are coming to fight Usaje tribe. When all these problems are solved, are you confident that South Sudan will be peaceful again? I'm very confident. As a leader there are always criticisms uh, no matter what one does. How do you handle such? Well, they, they never come to me to tell me. They talk very far away from me. In the media, talking to other people. Not, not in front of me. All right, Your Excellency, how do you see South Sudan in two years to come? Well, you know, two years will be still in the interim during the transitional period. Will people be able to move freely in South Sudan and do their business without fear? It is already there now. Free movement is now there. Although there are pockets of uh, rebels that are still uh, ambushing people, but business now subsided. What do you want the people of South Sudan to remember you for? I mean, the coming generation. Well, I have done many things that I, know. I can be the member. I fought the war in the young age to this age that I have now grown old. One more time, are you confident that South Sudan will be a better place to live in? I'm confident that you know, there will be. Peace and South Sudan will be one of the most uh, uh, lovely countries that you know, each one will want to come and live in South Sudan. Will all this happen in your presence? Without self, because how long will I live? I cannot determine that I will be there. But you know, whoever that will come after me must find a very, a very peaceful country. My birthday party is on coming Sunday at Continental Pyramid Hotel and I feel like I should invite you to celebrate with me. Will you be able to attend? I am ready. Really? Can you so my Mr. President? Now this is a personal question of which I don't want people to hear. The last time I met you, you probably missed something. Will it really happen? Yes, it will happen. So many people are watching you right now. Did you mean exactly what you said? Yes. Hi, what's up, everybody? Welcome once again to another comic interview with Daniel 21. Today, we're having a South Sudanese renowned politician known as Michael McQueen. If this is your first time to visit this channel, hit that subscribe button on your right hand side. Give a thumb up and leave a comment below on the comment section. Thank you. 
Honorable Minister, what exactly is the work of the Ministry of Information and Postal Services in South Sudan? Our task is to sensitize and educate our people. How is the current situation in South Sudan? We are in a transitional period. People say that I've been elected as the presidential advisor on financial and economic affairs. When will the decree be announced officially? Whether through the social media or through the SSBC and the other media houses. I can't wait for that day, but Honorable Minister, have people of South Sudan really got this dividend? Our people up to this moment have not yet got the peace dividend. Do they have peace of mind? They have not yet got the peace of mind. Since most South Sudanese are still suffering even after the signing of peace agreement, when should the entire government resign? We are left with uh, two years or less. Oh God, oh God. So many people are watching you right now. Did you mean exactly what you said? Yes. Thank you. Continent X 211. Educating the youths through films. Has comedian feel free? Are you not afraid right now? For me, has feel free. I'm not careful. Because as a man, it will be mutu wae marat. It will be mutu kala, samutu kala. There's nothing. I'll go, 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 I'll go. As my girl feel free, my feel free, I'll say, feel free, kid, feel free, durubu, ala sonu. They are reason. Kala malano sude. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Donny21. Welcome back to another comic interview. I know you missed it, but today we have brought to you the one and only South Sudan King of Comedy. If you're new on this YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification, like the video, comment, and share with your friends if you want to. Welcome, Oku, and greet your people. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Comedian Feel Free. Uh, People do call me South Sudan King of Comedy. How do you feel having you live today? I'm very happy uh, to be live today. Before we go deep, do you have any words to your fans worldwide? And to all my fans worldwide, I'm not just here because of fun, but I'm here for the reason. What is that reason? And the reason is uh, the day before yesterday, uh -huh. uh, the event that happened, uh, the event of peace, uh, together for peace concert, that happened. Were you part of the event? I was part of the event. I was among the comedians who were supposed to perform. And uh, we have been there since uh, uh, 2 p.m. Uh, till 5. Did you guys perform? We could not perform to our fans. I see you are having issues with the artist union. What exactly is going on? I posted an article uh, concerning the event, the whole event, and uh, the event organizers and the uh, artist union. What happened after that? I got a threat. A threat from who? From uh, uh, artist union. One of the executive uh, members of artist union called me and threatened me on phone about my post that I posted about uh, the, the, the failure uh, mm -hmm. of the artist union. What is your take here? So, Anna fell and Anna Mamurta because I just asked him, oh, Anna Sagiga, for me, I don't hide uh, the truth. Uh, I can tell you the truth whether you like it or not. If you want to do anything, you can do it because in this world, we are just here for the meantime, you know, we are here just for some time. We will leave this world and we will go back to heaven. How about those going to hell? Whether you are going to heaven or hell, it depends on how you have been doing, what you have been doing on this earth. What was the content of the post you made? I mentioned in my post that uh, the president of South Sudan Artist Union okay. is powerless. 
to deal with situations like what happened uh, the day before yesterday. So one of the member, one of the executive body called me. What is his name? He's called uh, Nyambura Kenyi. Called me this evening and threatened me about my post. Why did I post this and that? As a full member of Artist Union, you can see this ID. Is that membership ID? This ID is a, a membership ID. If you can see it very well. Yeah, yeah, I can see. So this ID gives me right to say what is in my mind. What I'm saying, which is not good. I can say it. So that we can see if there is any change or not. What do you think of God, the leaders of this industry? They are not capable to lead the industry. Because what they are doing is taking us back. In order for us to move forward, we are going backward. You know? There are things that they are supposed to do in a very professional way. Was it right to appoint the president? It's not in the constitution that the president of the South Sudan Artist Union must be appointed by a degree. It's not there. In the constitution is not there so artists will choose people will come like we declare ourselves we need to be the president someone will declare i want to be the president someone will declare then from there they will now say if you want to be a president this is the terms and conditions if you meet the terms and conditions then the electoral commission will make sure that you are given a chance to go and do campaign after doing a campaign you come and then people vote artists will vote for who to lead them not the minister to appoint the president of South Sudan Artists Union is not right. Why were they appointed? They were brought to prepare the ground to make sure that people go for election. But once they come in power, mm -hmm. they change everything. They start putting themselves first and they don't serve the interest of the, you know, they don't serve the interest of, 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 the, of the artists. What do you think about the Together for Peace concert that was organized? When we talk about Together for Peace, means everyone has to be part of this event. Everyone must be part of this event. All artists must be part of this event. Traditional dance, uh, musicians, dancers, comedians, all of them are supposed to be part of this event. But what happened? But what happened? You see, nothing happened the way they told us. They put on the billboards that the event will start by 10 a.m. in the morning, and then up to 5 p.m. in the evening. What time did the fans start coming to the venue? Fans came around 5, 6 in the morning. Uh, the show did not start from the morning as they said it was going to start by uh, 10 a.m. They waited, fans waited, 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 waited. Till 5. Was the event well organized? The event is not organized, well organized. The event is not well organized. Even at the venue, artists could not even find where they can just stay and wait for the, the MC to call them on the stage. People were stranded. Where was the president? He was there. They were seeing what is happening. Artists were treated anyhow. We are not politicians. We are not politicians. If you see the way artists were there, people were full on the stage. Bonsas were pushing artists anyhow. And these are the same artists who are going to perform to the crowd. They were pushed anyhow. And the president is there. He might be watching right now. What do you have to tell him? What is your role as a president of the artist? What are you supposed to do? What does the mandate, the constitutions of as South Sudan Artist Union? What is the constitution giving you? What are the powers that have been given to you by the constitution that you cannot exercise the powers to defend the right of artists in this country? We are there crying and you are there relaxed. You see? You are there, relax. We waited for our name just to be called. Security were pushing us as if we are just ordinary people. And fans were there. 
waiting for us to perform. We have been pushed anyhow. Who are you? Who are you? Before we continue with the interview, I want to let you know that Jongle Stars Awards is organizing their first edition on 1st January 2021 at Nyakron Cultural Center. Make sure you don't miss it. Go there, enjoy. Now back to you, comedian. Feel free. According to your own analysis, what do you think about the money paid to Diamond Plate now? We are supposed to be the people to enjoy that money that has been paid to Diamond. We are supposed to be given that money. So that artists of this country can do quality videos, quality audios. Not giving it to a foreign artist that will take the money now. He has gone with the money and we are still here as an artist of this country. We are not recognized and we are broke. Tomorrow they start telling us, you guys are not professional. Artists are like this and this. Who do you think can raise or can help these artists? Not you people? Yes, let me stress that again in couple letters. Who do you think will bring those artists up? Now, was the show not to be in all the other states? The show was not going to be in Juba only. The show was supposed to be in the other state. All the 10 states were supposed to enjoy. What other challenges do artists face today in Juno? We're not making money out of the, 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 the comedy. We're not making money out of the, the, the music. Yeah, how do you expect us to move? How do you expect an artist to drive a car? When you, 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 your, your music cannot even pay you, cannot even buy for you good clothing. You cannot even do branding. Right? These are the challenges we are facing. Ask comedian feel free. Are you not afraid right now? For me, ask feel free. I'm not careful. Because as a man, it will be much more marat. It will be much more sad, much more sad. There's nothing. Because there are a lot of threats. Since yesterday, I don't post article. There are a lot of threats that are coming. And finally today. One of the executive members at the artist union called to me and started threatening me. Oh, why did you post like this? Why are you busy? You know what you're supposed to do, and you are silent when we talk. And we killing all ah, nazikida, nazikida. So all in all, I have said my mind. Ah, boko rakanta as magal feel free ma fe fe ya se le feel free kida feel free durubu ala suno. They are reason. Kala malano sude. Thank you so much for your time and we pray nothing happens to you. How do you kiss around town? Jesus. I also have a buddy. I'm gonna have a special conversation with a South Sudanese Australian based supermodel that's probably known to you uh, by her name, Aduta Kitch. I don't say hi to your people. Hey Vogue, it's me Aduta Kitch. A few months ago you dominated internet starting from our local South Sudanese uh, media such as Juba I, Hot in Juba and so many international uh, news agencies uh, regarding your engagement with Round Town from Nigeria. A lot of people want to know exactly what you do that made Round Town fall for you. First thing I do is remove my makeup and the product that I use is the Bioderma makeup remover. A lot of slay queens here in Juba and some part of East Africa look up to you. Most of them have started using makeup and sometimes they sleep with makeup. Ah! In the morning they add extra makeup on the existing or the old makeup. Do you think removing the old makeup is so vital? It is very important to make sure you get all the makeup from your face. What else do you use? I use the Evin cleansing gel to really just get in there. Okay, we shall come back to uh, the makeup part afterward. But how does the boy, aka Round Town, call me? Nasi. He calls me Nasi. Jesu. Oh, that's great. What's the next thing you do to make your skin soft for round town? The next thing I do is use this rose water mist. And? Let that sink into my skin. Now that your face is so soft, what else will you do? I am going to take my facial serum, put a dot on my forehead. Is it important? Serums are very, very important because they lock the moisture into your skin. All right, all right. Right now, our Janubian Slay Queens are learning from you. Are you kidding me? Is that all you do or there's something else you add on? I also take a bit, put it on the tip of my fingers and apply that down to my neck. What's that? My eye serum. Do you also use lip scrub? 
I use this lip scrub from Lush. Which brand? It is an Australian brand. Some Junubin girls came up with a slogan that states South Sudanese men ain't romantic. <laughs> is it true? If yes, how do you kiss round town? Jesus, I don't die. How do you keep your body soft? I have to make sure that I use a lot of moisturizer in my dry areas. Right now you are in UK and you are using Australian products. How does that one work? Every time I go back home, I come back with a bunch of these. So many girls are using artificial hair. For the few ones with natural hair, what do you tell them? If you're somebody with afro hair and you're trying to grow your hair out or you're trying to grow your edges or whatever, this is really, really good. Thank you so much for informing them. Now our interview has come to an end. What are you going to do next? I'm going to head off to sleep now, so bye! Thank you so much for watching that video. That was Adida Kate live from UK, London. This is your boy, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to this channel. It's My free. <laughs> do you really have right to go to J1? I can have a right to go to J1. I can have a right to visit First Lady. I have a right to visit the President of South Sudan. Okay. Hi, what's up, everybody? Welcome once again to another comic interview with Danny 211. I'm going to be having a South Sudanese online political activist, uh, probably known to you by her name, uh, Akwach Wall. But first, before we continue with the interview, please hit the subscribe button on your right hand side. Like it because I know this is so amazing and uh, you will really like it. Akwach, welcome to the show and uh, I recommend you to take some kind of a drink or a juice to cool down your temperature uh, because this one is going to be a very hot one. Yeah, thank you. Now greet the viewers and your followers. Salam alaikum my dearest followers. The one that are following me. How do you feel being interviewed by me today? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. As it's okay. It's okay. What was the reaction of the people when you were welcomed at J1? That why is it quite? Why is it quite being welcomed by the? I will. I will be welcomed by everybody. Oh, I see. Why? Me a kwanyula as a second a kwala with a gorian. If they are welcoming people of South Sudan, they will welcome me for the title of my grandmother. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Why do you think everybody will welcome you? Because what I said is for the people of South Sudan, not for the benefit of my own stomach. Do you really have right to go to J1? I can have a right to go to J1. I can have a right to visit First Lady. I have a right to visit the President of South Sudan. Okay. Do you support the president of South Sudan? I am a diehard supporter of President Salfa Mayati. Jesus Christ, I'm watching you. Let's get back to Dinka language. Could we you your support? Chiman Yiki Jana Ali, the Lake Junub, Adeke Lorke? Ranjit Kijana Ali, Abulu, welcome. Thank you for the West Coast Suite. Continent text 211. Educating the youths through films. Do you know that Diwa has been in the game for almost four decades? Are you ready to swim in that ocean? I'm ready to swim for the sake of you guys, you know. To make sure <laughs> to make sure you guys you guys are proud. Jesus, I don't die. Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another community of Danny Tour. Today we are having a South Sudan that is based in Australia. If this is your first time watching one of our YouTube channel, make sure you check the previous videos and don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe for more of comic vibes. Slade, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Some people still don't believe that I do interviews. Am I now interviewing you? Exactly. Now let's get started. When you leave the song Hino, you promise your fans that the video will be out the next day. Some people have taken you as a liar. When will the video be out? The video is coming tonight. How many people have so far received the audio? I've so far sent it to 223 people. 
223 people. How did people perceive the song? Nobody has ever said it. the song is not good. Everybody appreciate it. Sleep, why are your eyes red? I did not sleep, I swear to you. Alright, somebody said you are not talented. <laughs> Where are you coming from? <laughs> Where are you coming from? <laughs> oh my god. What is the name of your team? Inu Gang. It has now become a trend in the music industry. Whenever a musician produces a song, he or she tells the fans to do uh, the challenge for their song. Do you suggest that to your fans? For my guys, if you want to do a challenge, do a challenge with two, I mean, three to four, five people singing, Where in Inu? Where in Inu? Where? Where? <laughs> Something like that in a group. You know, if you sing that, record yourself, send me the video, we'll put it out here for you. What about ladies? For my ladies, if you know how to dance Zeku, you know, oh man, that would be, that would be lit. Just, just do whatever you gotta do. I don't know how the ladies do their things, but you know how you do it. Just let me know. Which places are they based on? We have Inu Gang in Canada, Inu Gang in Uganda, in Kenya, in Juba. That is already massive. That is the best. You know, at, uh, it's just... <laughs> Even in Morocco, we already got Inu gang there. Hopefully, we'll get some Inu gang in India, you know. Indians have been my people, you know, somewhere there. All right, Slim. During the Metake Jaradown Saga, you terribly lied to your dear fans and the entire Jinobi that Tiwa Savi was in your DM begging for you. Now, your fans are watching. Can you repeat that lie? The thing is, you can ask Max. Max is here online. That lady calls me all the time. You know, I have, I have kids around here, my nieces. I don't want to talk so bad, but I would just talk in a very good way, like a, like a pastor, okay? Chabuna, you know? That lady calls me, man. Most people, including myself, are not convinced at all. How do you make us believe it? I'm going to post the, I'm going to post, uh, the, the proof for you guys, okay? So that you can believe me. But Sine, let us be honest here. Are you not the one crying in a DM? The truth is that lady is the one that calls me. I'm not the one, you know. Still, people are not convinced. I'll post the notes as well for you guys. So you could see that I'm not lying. And I'll post the, the, the chat. She's been calling me. She's been sending me messages and stuff. Do you know that Tiwa has been in the game for almost four decades? Are you ready to swim in that ocean? I'm ready to swim for the sake of you guys, you know, to make sure <laughs> to make sure you guys, you guys are proud. I know I'm going to swim. It's going to be deep waters for me, but at least we have to try. We have to try, you know. We have to try and represent, you know. Slate, I'm going to go for Yemi Alade. Nigerians actually be going to go in a church like that. What do you think? You go for it, my brother. We need to represent fully. I am going for her that time. Been were mad when Utake got engaged to run town. What's your take here? I really, really look up to her. Like she's really amazing. She has done so much in the name, uh, in the name of our country. So she, she, she has represented us so well, like in a fashion way, and she has done so many things at a very young age as she is. And one thing a lot of people don't really understand: love doesn't have nationality. As long as somebody respect you and you respect them. And then you, you guys feel something towards each other, that love is fine, I'm okay with it. As long as you respect my sister, I'm okay with that. But if you disrespect her, that's when I will come with you know, TH and Fanga and all this stuff. But if you respect her and you know treat her nice and she's happy, I'm okay for you to, to be in love with my sister. What do you have to tell everybody watching right now? Alright guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have entertained you. Let me also hope you have entertained them. Now, any request you want me to do for you? Give me fire, please. Let me feel the fire before I go off. Give me fire. I there you go. Fire, 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 fire. Next time, learn to request for better things like money. Wow, that's amazing. How about the first two? Uh, during phase two, we'll be focused on 
integrating businesses to run a coin what exactly should be done to the person who is watching this interview and doesn't want to like comment share or subscribe shoot him hi what's up everybody welcome once again to another comic interview with danny 211 Today I'm so excited because I'm having one of the most influential human beings on this planet. But first, before we move on with the interview, if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button on your right hand side. Give a thumb up and leave a comment below. Thank you so much. Good morning, Akon. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Akon. How do you feel having you today on my show? It's a pleasure. When last did I have one on one shot with you? Two years ago. Yes, it has been quite a long time. Uh, now tell me what you have been doing. I mean, plans, business, or any other thing. Since then, I've continued to build on my philanthropic and business ventures to launch Akon City. To the people who might be hearing Akon City for the first time, could you please elaborate more to them? A sustainable smart city built in 2,000 acres. Where? Of Senegal's coastline. Where exactly in Senegal is it located? Uh, you know, it's near Dakar, not too far from the International Airport. That's a huge piece of land. If I may ask, who gave this land to you? I mean, who is that person who can give such piece of land to a single person? And it was gifted to me by the President of Senegal, Mr. Marky Sall. Oh, you must be the most blessed person to own such an unbelievable city. So, how far would the project as per now? Uh, see, we have about six billion contractors to begin phase one of Akon City, which includes the construction of roads, uh, state of the arts hospitals, residential hotels, a large shopping mall, police station, uh, schools, uh, waste management, and solar power plants. Wow, that's amazing. How about the phase two? Uh, during phase two, we'll be focused on integrating businesses to run Acoin and completely and complete the constructions of parks, stadiums, universities, and industrial complexes. What exactly is your vision for this wonderful futuristic city? Uh, see, my vision for Akon City, uh, you know, I can say my other African-based investments and ventures supports my belief that African's potential is endless. And of course, we've been waiting to unlock that. We have the right of, you know, we have all the capabilities, resources, strength, manpower, I mean, to succeed. I mean, you all know how that goes. One may not actually understand it and believe it that it will surely happen. So how is that possible? Uh, we just need the proper vision and framework to uh, incentivize and reward innovation uh, in, along with entrepreneurship and convince uh, everyone else to build that confidence within themselves for Africa. Personal as Akon, you may have a goal as everybody else. So what's the main goal you always want to see accomplished? Essentially, giving the people of Africa the tools to fish, produce, and develop their own. You know what I mean? So, that's my main goal. You also came up with Acoin, a cryptocurrency. What exactly triggered that idea? On Acoin, uh, the idea for Acoin uh, came to me as I returned to France. And I realized I was at the airport trying to exchange my monies and they wouldn't accept the CFA, which was like crazy. I mean, like the French, created and printed this money for us, but yet it had no value in France. So it was like, that was a time when I realized something had to be done. Uh, and it, that's just what it was. So this is why when I realized that Econ City needs to have its own uh, decentralized board, borderless currency. Uh, wow, wow, wow. And for you viewers who don't know exactly what cryptocurrency is, comment below and you will definitely be answered. And now your head correct. <laughs> Econ, do you believe that this type of currency will have positive impact on Africa? In, in many ways, blockchain and cryptocurrency could be the savior for Africa. I really truly believe that. When exactly did you start investing in Africa? I have been investigating, uh, I'm sorry, investing in Africa since 2004, like since my first record locked up. So the little monies I've received, I just started investing because I saw that Africa would be the future. And I firmly believe that the greater the risk, clearly the greater the reward. And believe me, it is a big risk back then, but today I don't think it's such a big risk. It's, it's evident that 
all roads leads to Africa in the future. This Econ City is the biggest investment that a normal human being can imagine. What can you say about it? Uh, um, but as Acon and Acoin um, are my most ambitious ventures to date, but this is initially a six billion dollar investment. That it, and it, so it demonstrates that I am not alone in believing that Africa is right for investment on the brink of breakthrough. And I am for the stars. And I mean, I'm, I'm literally aiming for the stars right now. But if I reach the sky, I'm cool with that. Like, I'm happy with that. But I will reach the galaxy. Believe me when I tell you. My legacy hopefully will speak for itself. Apart from this biggest city project, what biggest thing have you ever achieved? In the early days, I recognized in the Guinness. I was recognized in the Guinness Book of World Records uh, as the top-selling artist of master ringtones. And about the Guinness Book of World Records. So, so many ringtones all over the world. They actually put me on the Guinness Book of World Records, which was amazing. What other ambitions do you have apart from this economic transformation? Um, besides economic gain. New technologies and innovations have the potential to bring transparency and eliminate much of the corruption that's killing Africa's development. Thank you so much for taking your time and I hope people now viewing this and people watching it have picked something from this interview. So what else do you want to add on? So thank you for inviting me to speak and I look forward to working towards achieving the UN Sustainable uh, Development Goals and further develop the blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystem in Africa. And hopefully with your, you guys' help and everyone that sees these opportunities at the moment when they believe it's relevant, uh, you know, come join me. And I think this will be something you won't regret and it will be something that will help to steady uh, 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 fast your, your, your family's legacies from your children to their children and beyond. I am so glad to have you today. Any last word to the viewers? So thank you guys for uh, listening and uh, tuning in. I appreciate it. Peace. <laughs>
kalja kiri kiri cuka ruar ruar ikan jalan eh kalja yang ni ramben gitu elon je kianen when somebody come and fail his duties or her duties kalau lekik kiri macam dia kerja wot eh mana lagi kiri doy dia tu boleh lagi kiri ni eh mana yang kiri macam dia kerja wot kiri macam dia kerja wot nanti ya kiri dia yeah I said it see if you look for person where go fire turn that this man immediately Apart from when you na kuma when you go on Facebook, you muda jaku on by. I was also a celebrate. Ah! You celebrate aya? Tonga took 2002. Nonge nene idiot kuche enfana jinu. You see, you lack, you lack what they call quarantine or quarantine. That is job one quarantination. Quarantination, which is the extended value of quarantine plus nation equals quarantination. Tonga took 2002. Aye 2003, kepis proses jam lep, kau gol de no, gol de nabaca. Jangan cili tur. Cai. Gol de ngade, gol de macakos. Aye 2004 gol de nabaca. Wajik ke jangan alih water thing. Aye dah mana nene jelah tanya 2005. Kau wajik ke jangan alih pi, maju kau kata thing wajik ke jangan alih pel. Yang ngui eloi. Anak itu akan ikut dah. I was a minister but I use and culture. That time, I was talking about the minister but I use and culture. I was in a lawyer celebration in the stadium. Old traditional dance and I was organized. Hey! Old traditional dance and I was organized. I was the one organizing everything. I was going to go to the house. I was going to go to the house. I was going to go to the house. Kalau kau jual on Facebook je, loy loy kau nukoh. Loy loy kau ada jinu. You fikir kalau tuan dia kau tahu macam ni ada? Ah, no. You sure say you no confused? Ina kau mah on office. My position kau tahu macam ni ada? Kim position? Kau asyik dah. Yang mubal lekau itu air. So we kau tu fana air. Continue. Keep sending money to South Sudan. Keep preaching peace and stability. Yang kau kaya kau betul ni je never want. Ingat ya gamgi ya banyak tiad Iran muloi. The best politician Iran lo intro in the community. When you address the need of the community, ini kan the best person. It's a fourth button ini. Okay, ini apa ni? Ini apa nan? Cari dia untuk duda. Hanya jam jono be. Kau ni rujuk dah macam jono una borat cina go nyai kedapat. Nai wah token. Jangan mangguk. Ya, dah tu give him one bonus. Kau fikir dari. Bye, get the red fund and a bandit. Then you will yum, then in the al. Grandma, you rat him, Alwell Panda, everyone, you're over to Bandit Wachakamo, Tawe, and I could go call him a young Jew. One year, Jane de Kira, my yard. My Panda, door, I gave away and ten steady. Baba Kira, my yard, it abbey door. Cukupan majun cale ini zaman calon monen. Nanong kuba jal le bay ke jilau. So yang kaku tahu kenapa ni alik kena wek kuab jal banyu. Continent X two one one. Educating the youths through films. What if you and Badi come together and discuss all these issues? So we'll be longing for a consolation. So what happened? Badi is already waiting for a consolation. Hey! Wala Dilo. Wala Dilo. Hi, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another comic video from Tony Toma. Today we're having the former Archbishop of Jongle Internal Province in South Sudan. I want to remind you this video is strictly for entertainment. No any other intention band so just keep enjoying if you are new here make sure you hit that like button comment share and subscribe for more of the comic vibes good morning your right reverend you're most welcome and to someone who may not know you you can briefly introduce yourself thank you a few months ago you were all over social media that you were dismissed what do you have to say about this? My description is baseless. Why? Because I've never been tried and found guilty. 
So what exactly were you accused of? You said that I divided the Christians. Alright, I'm gonna get back to you. But right now, a book Jacomba ping Tom Canon with Jungis. Tom Green, a Kiran, a Kimu, yep, the Shaman, and a Chen Union, the Yuka Taranti. A Yelin Canon, a Yunga Guru Bukot Blomad. Right, a Knowe Walla, my Abu, who is a Latino. Okay, Before we continue with the interview, I want to let you know that this video was proudly sponsored by John Lee Stars Award. John Lee Stars Awards is an annual awarding company that appreciates the talents of all Junubin basing on real participation of the individuals. They nominate and award people from different fields such as entertainment, fashion, sports, and entrepreneurship. For more details contact plus 211 926 Well, <laughs> So my pastor, now let's get back to uh, Reverend uh, Ruben Okudijamong. Now this thing has happened and we all know you said you are going to be independent. Who are you going to report to? I mean, who are you going to give reports to? The report is not an issue in faith. We report to Christ. Alright, how many months have you so far spent without the leadership of Badi? We are now 10 months alone. Have you missed anything? We have not missed anything. How about external support and communication? There is no external connection. What if you and Badi come together and discuss all these issues? We will be longing for a consultation. So what happened? Badi is already waiting for a consultation. Malu Yasabi. Wanda shall never end. You are a hater. You hate my success. Thunder fire you. Thunder fire that's your mouth. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to another comic interview with Danny Tuamon. Uh, today I'm offering a musical uh, legend from South Sudan. Uh, but first, before moving on with the interview, please hit that subscribe button on your right hand side. And don't forget to click on your notification to notify you whenever we upload any new video. Uh, click that like button if you find this interview interesting, of which I know it is. Leave a comment below and uh, let me know if you really like it. Share it with your friends too if you feel like. Thank you so much if you have done all of those. Now we're good to go. Uh, musical agent, greet your people. Yo, what's up, everybody? How you doing? What's the first thing you would like to tell them? 
I want to say welcome to everyone who's right now here with us. I remain your boy Silver X, the music machine, a South Sudanese born superstar, homemade for import and export. Before we go deep to our interview, what is the music? Music is a universal language, you know, that's why it's, it's the only means we have sometimes when we're crying, we need music. When we're happy, we need music. You know, when we're sad, we need music. Like, music applies in every single beat, every single space of our lives. You understand, from childhood, when a baby is born, people are celebrating, they play music. When you're, you know, when you're married, people play music. When you die, people play music. Like, music is in every single, you know, sequence of our lives. So, As we know, this is going to be a tough one. Do you suggest viewers to take drinks? Welcome, I'm on, I'm on some drips. You can have yours one. So <laughs> calm down your anger in case you, you get angry because some of the things are really pissing up. Okay, thank you. Let me take mine. I guess you, somebody watching there, you have taken your drink because the musical legend has told us to do so. Silver, honestly, has South Sudan music grown? First and foremost, the South Sudan music without some of us. It would not have been what it is right now. Now tell us what is the center of our discussion today? This is the main thing. I think a couple of, maybe a few months ago, uh, we had a trans season of uh, leadership of the South Sudan Artists Union, which to me existed like some years, really some years back. But today we'll take you through a bit of it like how all it started and all this you know up to where it is then where it was left and then how other people came in to take here and there you know why was the union formed to govern you know the entertainment industry majorly musicians all right do other countries have it maybe other countries have it but how they operate it probably is different from how ours is run you understand what does the entertainment industry consist of? In the industry, let me just break this point, like in the industry, like we have musicians, we have comedians, we have MCs, we have uh, presenters, we have uh, even organizers, the promoters, and probably we have, uh, let me say, the, uh, the, the venues, you know, like the clubs. Why are the artists complaining of the new union regulations? The main reason, like many artists are complaining, is about the taxes, you know? I hear the union is coming up with something that be like artists should pay money, they should, you know, they should be taxed. What exactly should be taxed since most of our artists are broke? I don't know what is going to be taxed. Is it their blood? Is it their... I don't really understand. Apart from taxing artists, what else does the union say that you find funny and irrelevant? Artists are going to be scrutinized, like Bara the like, you know, KK, you know, get. They have the Savaita Lisa. You know, like under Dugu Dura, be, be, be funduk, those years, so like under Murkaka. Santa Bitalo, like, again, you know, like, uh, properly grinded. Is it a town that day? It has to be bound with KK, yeah? So, music has to be done like that before you go to the studio to, <laughs> to record. And? To register and have IDs. IDs for, for what? For food? I don't understand, like, because I remember, like, we had these IDs when the refugee comes those years. Like, Zaman Takel Kangida, you go give your ID and so you can get some food. So I don't know what this really, you know, means. Were you part of the union? I wasn't part of the union. Silver, please don't lie. Completely. Okay, why? It's me, I just I grew up from my start, like, just like that, Silver X, and that was it. How many bodies were formed? There were two bodies. Were those unions really meant to help the artists? It wasn't meant to actually help the artist as such none of them was meant to help the artist and none of them benefited the artist so whom did the union benefit it only benefited individuals i heard that the union later collapsed why the union stayed broke throughout what do you think about musicians who praise government officials and some british individuals they don't know nothing to do with the music we do they don't know nothing with the music we do, completely. Is it right for someone else to control one's content? Nobody's supposed to control you on your content, on your creativity, on your art. If you're a comedian, if you're a musician, if you're 
Yo, if you do arts, you know, you understand, nobody's supposed to, if you're an MC, if you're a presenter, nobody's supposed to control your art. Is it a must to join a union? It's not a must, I'm telling this to you, it's not a must. And once you are not part of the union, the union has no right over you. You have really talked a lot and I guess you must be thirsty. Take some drink. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, now let's get back to how you made it to be who you are right now. For the past 10 years, we have been still struggling, begging radio presenters, radio stations, let me say, to play our music. Have you ever sung a song praising anybody? Some of us are not this kind of artists who, go, who sing about praising names, the political names or the political allies or those money, money banks. No, we do our music strictly to the people. Oh man, uh, I'm planning to go to the studio and sing a song about a child where uh, this year I've decided to drive a Lamborghini on the street of Juba. Wow, that's when I did and say one that shall never end. Maru Yasabi. Wanda shall never end. You are a hater. You hate my success. Wanda fire you. Wanda fire that your mouth. No way. No way. No way. I must drop a hit about her and... But wait. How did you manage to control Juba musically in those days? I was the one taking my music personally to the... I take it to Konyo Konyo. Okay. I give to all the computer places. Okay. I take it <laughs> to custom. I give to all the computer places, I take it to Jebel, I take it to Munuki. That was it? That was how we promote this music. You just guys cover up your head, you go and hide the music that's in Rex. That was in Rex, they take it. Place your phone properly, or else I will end this interview right now. Yep, there are so many I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Ustaz Tadunia, honestly speaking and musically speaking, I am better than you by far. Hell no. Hell no. You Silver X, Musical Machine, Ustaz Tadunia, now that I've interviewed you and so many people have known you, what are you going to say? I appreciate this, I appreciate this. <laughs>I was up everybody, welcome once again to another comic interview with Donald Trump. Today we have got the most comic president, that is J. Donald Trump, on today's interview. Put your device on the loudspeaker because you will surely enjoy this one. Before we move on with the interview, hit that subscribe button on your right hand side, turn on the notification and give a thumb up and leave your comment below. Thank you. Good evening sir, it is my pleasure to have you today. I heard you were eagerly waiting for this moment. Now you have got it. What do you have to say? I just want to thank you. And Which particular group of people do you first send your regards to? To my favorite people in the world, the seniors. But sir, are you a senior? I'm a senior. I know you don't know that. So who knows? Nobody knows that. Since nobody knows that you are a senior, will you let them know? Maybe you don't have to tell them, but I'm a senior. Now let's get back to the reason we are here. How's the progress on the vaccine for China virus? We are making tremendous progress with this horrible disease that was sent over by China. What is your plan for them? China will pay a big price for what they did to the world and to us. So it is rumored that there is medicine for it. How true is that statement? But we have medicines right now, and I call them a cure. I went into the hospital a week ago. I was very sick. When you got sick last week, what happened next? I took this medicine. How was it after taking the medicine? It was incredible. It was incredible. If I got you well, I was like you were cured from that China virus. So, do you have a plan of making it available to the world? We're going to make them available. When? Immediately. We have an emergency use authorization that I want to get signed immediately. The FDA has moved at a level that they've never moved before. Things that would take two, three, four years are taking a matter of weeks or even sooner than that. That's so incredible. Who's buying this speedy progress? Me. What do you tell people who are waiting for this medicine? You're going to get the same medicine. You're going to get it free. No charge. Okay, sir. Let's get back to the politics right now. What do you think about Joe Biden, your opponent? My opponent, as you know, he talks, but he never did anything in 47 years. I did more in 
47 months and he did it in 47 years. He just talks. It's the same old thing. During presidential debate, did you know what he was saying? He didn't know what he was doing. How about you? Do you know what you are saying or both of you are the same? I do know what I'm doing. All right, sir. Wish you success in the coming election. Thank you very much. We love you. Hi, what's up, everybody? Today I'm joined by Akode, aka Madam Boss, aka President of Single Mothers, straight away from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, hope you guys will just listen to her. Akode, say hi to our viewers. Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How was your night? Actually, mine was good, and uh, I hope this too was also good. How about yours? Mine was quite cool. Uh, let me hope it is a beautiful morning on your side. Yes, it's a beautiful morning, uh, but not very beautiful. Why? Because I think I'm gonna step on some people's toes a bit, but that's a life. There's no way you can take me. As the president of single mothers in Africa. Are our girls really suffering? It is because of this my told men that our young girls are soon going into depression. Okay, what do you have to tell to those men? Look for a space in your house, wherever it's gonna be. Pick up that phone and organize that girl down somewhere. We don't want people, we are already dying of Corona. We don't want our girls to die of depression. Apart of, from Corona, nostalgia, and um, you call it what? Fantasy and paranoia our girls are suffering i know right have you ever experienced that life i was in these shoes like how many years in 19 in in 1998 are you not lying no no no, no. i'm lying 2017 2017 2018 2018 uh-uh i could be serious Oh my goodness, years have gone. 208, 209, eh? 208, 209, 2010. But why did it happen? When I was still depending on someone to pay my rent, my friend, that shit is fucked up. How was it? That rubbish is messed up. Depending on someone's pocket, hey, hey, hey. Ask me, I will tell you. Why? You have sleepless nights, you can't even shower, you call, they don't pick. You start giving them excuses. Maybe she has not seen the call. Maybe he will call back. You send them email, they don't reply. The landlord is not connect. My friend, you have no life. All right, Akode. What do you think about our ladies of today? They don't take, they don't, they can't persevere. Mm -mm. One correction, they are packing, they are going. Just at one point one of screaming, they are packing, they are going. What? They can't persevere. They have no patience but they have a big life in their head. During this quarantine, what do you tell them? Now it is quarantine time. Bitch, you are gonna have to download whatever you had in your brain into reality. We shall come back to that later. But Akode, can you really do without makeup? I can do without makeup. Even right now, look at how I woke up in the morning. <laughs> how much is your hair? My hair? Is 650. Akode, are you beautiful? Me, Akode, I'm the most beautiful African queen. Are you sure? Call police upon that. <laughs> all right, all right. As for this pandemic, what do we really need to have? Right now, all we need is hope, faith, perseverance, tolerance, and above all, believing in God. What has your mother ever told you? My mom once told me, my daughter, your money is your first husband. I am experiencing it now. You have money in your life. I have no money in my life. I'm living my life. Whether you want to say I stole from them or whatever, whatever I did to be who I am today does not matter. So what matters? The end results, success. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I really appreciate you and uh, the viewers also. I think they have also enjoyed your talking. So what do you need to tell them at last, uh, your last message. Sanitize, wash your hands, keep clean, stay home. I love you. <laughs>